Welcome back to Living a Local. Harris, Louisiana Downs is hosting the Exotic Animal Races on Thursday. That's the 4th of July, and you're going to get to see ostriches and camels race for their win. And you don't want to miss out on these wacky races. So here to give us all those details on the event is Shelly Murphy, Public Relations Manager with Harris, Louisiana Downs. Shelly, thank you so much for being with us. Today. Yes, great to come in. Yes, we are so excited to talk about this event because it's so much fun. It's something really different for the 4th of July. So tell us a little bit about these exotic animal races. Well, I have to say at Harris, Louisiana Downs, these races have have, I think, become tradition. Uh, our guests look forward to them every year. It's yeah. a great turnout for the exotic animal races. And if you've never seen um, camels and ostriches being raced by jockeys, this is your opportunity. Yeah. Now, you don't get to wager on the animals, but we do run the races, and our jockeys do ride these animals, and it's great fun. Um, our July 4th entertainment kicks off about noon mm -hmm. um, on the racing apron. All of the food trucks, kids area, we have a, a free kids area um, with inflatables and bounce houses, face painting, fun, oh. uh, that will open at noon. And then the live racing first post time is at 3.15. Okay. So if you, you know, come at noon if you want to join us. Uh, racing starts at 3.15 and then the exotic animal races will run between the live thoroughbred races. Um, intermixed into yes. in, our, in our racing card for the day. Yeah, so fun, but it sounds like you guys have fun for the entire family. A lot of stuff for the kiddos, and I know that they're really looking for fun stuff to do, so this is a great opportunity for that. Oh, absolutely, and um, Live Share Blood Center, uh, their big bus, the donation bus, will be on site, and then we're also uh, raising and uh, collecting canned goods for the uh, Food Bank of Northwest Louisiana. So if you bring in four canned goods or you donate blood, uh, we have some special gifts from you. I believe the Life Share Blood Center is giving away uh, complimentary movie tickets for those who donate. We'll be giving away snow cones for those who donate or bring canned goods. And yeah. then also you get a special treat from Harris. Louisiana well, that's great. Downs. Yeah, not only do you get to do something good for the community, but you also get something in return, which is a really nice. Yes. And we're seeing some pictures of the camels racing right there. That is incredible. Yeah, it's those a, are quick things. It, it, it's really hard to ride an ostrich. Okay, that like, one's a little scary. The jockeys say that it's 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 really hard. So yes. um, it's fun to watch. Like I said, it'll be a packed house, uh, but all of it is in time. Like you'll be through by 6 p.m., so you can still uh, go to the fireworks or whatever yes. you want to do uh, with your family that absolutely, night. Absolutely, absolutely. So, so Shelly, how can we get tickets? I know that we're seeing a number right there. Can we get tickets online? Do we? No tickets. No tickets. Just come and join us. Yes, yes absolutely. And Harris Club, which is our uh, buffet in the sky, uh, Harris Club will also be open on July 4th if you're looking for something special to do for for lunch and maybe don't want food truck food, yeah. um, you can head up to Harris Club for um, lunch there also. So fun. Yes, yeah, absolutely. thank you, Shelly, for sure. being with us today. So if you're looking for 4th of July plans and something a little a bit out of the ordinary, you might want to check out those wacky races at Harris, Louisiana Downs. Thank you so much, Shelly, for being with us again. And we're going to send it back over to Josh for one more look at our forecast. Do I get to ride the ostrich so you, you get the camel? That, this is this has to happen. <laughs> this has to happen. I want to ride the ostrich. Are you doing the, you doing the weather Thursday morning? I am. Do it live. Maybe I can from come do that. From yeah, the ostrich. Stay tuned for that. That's not a bad idea, Shelly. You need to call me. 72 tonight. We do have temperatures that will be in the upper 60s and low 70s across the region. Not too many changes as far as your uh, temperatures from what we've experienced here over the last few weeks down to 72. In Shreveport, Texarkana, pretty much everybody in the low 70s tonight. As far as the rain chances, those will be going away once we head into the overnight hours. But again, next few hours here, we'll probably see a few pop-up showers and storms mainly south of Interstate 20. So we could see a little rain as far north as Shreveport later this afternoon afternoon early this evening. Tomorrow will be the rainy day, a lot like yesterday where we'll see those uh, rounds of showers and storms make their way through. If the rain starts early enough, could hold us in the mid 80s tomorrow. So just kind of keep the umbrella handy. This will be the last real good push of rainfall over the next seven days or so. And you see Robbins Toyota future cash just kind of winding things down once we get into the evening hours on Wednesday. Seven day forecast will continue to run uh, below normal next three days. So once we dry out, there's the heat setting up Friday, Saturday, Sunday should be a hot weekend for us. If you have outdoor plans Sunday, I've included that 20% chance of rain. Rain. Could have a few pop up showers that day, but uh, don't anticipate anything that will be a washout for us. And those uh, light rain chances lingering into early next week. Thank you, Josh. I know that you love being a weatherman, but just think about this you could have been an ostrich jockey. So I know. just think of let that. I can, maybe I can do both. Mind. You could definitely maybe do, both. I can do both. And always do the weather from an ostrich. I mean, you're terrified of those things. <laughs> <laughs> I had a bad experience with an ostrich one time, and look, maybe I'm going to give him another Everybody's shot. Everybody's got a story like that. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us guys right here on Living Local. We're going to see you tomorrow. Have a great Tuesday.